Now at 7, the ongoing fight against Zika in South Florida. Another round of aerial spraying happening this morning to take on the mosquitoes spreading the virus. A total of locally acquired cases is at 16, all thought to be contracted in the same one square mile Winwood hotspot. CBS 4 Silva Haro Petion is live in Winwood this morning with the very latest. Silva, good morning. Good morning. We're in a corner of 2nd and 25th. Actually, spraying continues by land and air. Take a look at this video. Uh, this happened just about an hour ago. We caught Miami-Dade mosquito control spray insecticide on Miami's Zika zone across the two square mile area in Wynwood. The spraying continues this morning, targeting mosquitoes that cause the virus, which has been linked to birth defects. Also a concern, tourism right here in Florida, the biggest industry. Visitors spent about $89 billion here last year. Governor Rick Scott been doing damage control. Now, he says mosquito control crews in Miami-Dade County have been effective, but a travel advisory warning pregnant women not to visit the area remains in effect. My one job is to protect this baby. I can't get bit by a mosquito. The most fearful thing is I don't want to have a child who ends up with some of the severe cerebral defects um, that have been talked about, including microencephaly. And back here live at this time, there have been, as you mentioned, 16 reported cases, cases that have originated right here in Wynwood. In the meantime, Miami-Dade uh, County Public Works and Waste Management Department says that the insecticides being sprayed by land and air are safe. We'll be out here in Wynwood, try to talk to some businesses later this morning. We're live. Silva Harapetti on CBS4 this morning.